for those thousands, those millions of animals who are tortured and killed in the name of science. But it is flawed science. Sewing kittens' eyelids together, splitting monkeys' heads open, blinding mice, poisoning dogs to death, and burning the tails of rats are all methods that are routinely carried out in laboratories across the UK. But the benefit they bring to human health is virtually nil. However, because they are carried out by scientists who wear white coats, and it is hidden from public view behind the walls of our esteemed institutions, and because these practices have been carried out for centuries and are established traditions, society turns a blind eye and they are tolerated and accepted. But the pain and the suffering for the millions of animals is just as immense, nonetheless. Now, of course, the member sectors, they defend and justify their torture of animals by saying it is a necessary evil. But you and I know that there is nothing necessary about this at all. It is simply plain evil. You are also just as familiar as I am with all the stories they spin, all the fabrications, all the empty promises they offer, cures, diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's and diseases. of kennels used to breed beagles for animal research. It's the latest in a series of demonstrations against Harlan Laboratories, who are based at Whitton near Huntingdon. Some 200 people joined a mock funeral procession to symbolise the thousands of dogs which campaigners claim die every year in the name of medical science. What we're hoping to achieve today is to make everybody aware of what's going on at Harland and Tifauna because it is on their doorstep, you know, it's in Cambridgeshire. And joining the march today was 93-year-old Joan Court, who's been campaigning for animal rights for over 30 years. Beaver dogs are useless for experiments, they fail all the experiments. And I think it's cruel, humiliating, degrading and wrong. This is the latest protest in a long-running campaign. Earlier this year, a demonstration took place outside the kennels where the beagles are bred, a breeding programme which protesters say has no scientific basis. The evidence is out there for everyone to see, in black and white, that these, these methods of testing new drugs are failing human health, and as a result of that, too many human lives are being at risk, as well as their human health. Now, of course, the vivisectors, they defend and justify their torture of animals by saying it is a necessary evil. But you and I know that there is nothing necessary about this at all. It is simply plain evil. You are also just as familiar as I am with all the stories they spin, all the fabrications, all the empty promises they offer, cures to diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's and, diseases and Parkinson's. They are always announcing new developments in the cell of a mice tail or the fin of a fish. And they convince the public that therein lies the cure to your grandmother's dementia. But this is misleading. This is not science. It is just a guise for more money, for more public donations, for more grants, for more research. It will never deliver the cures. It never has. That some of these people who aren't gathered here, some of these people walking past us, think that animal experimentation is acceptable. It's because they believe that it's going to deliver the cures that we all want. We all have loved ones who suffer from diseases. We all have experienced that ourselves. 90% of drugs that cast trials in animals fail in human beings because, as Victoria has said, they're not us. Their bodies are not ours, and you can never predict from one to another. This is a system that is already failing, that is already not delivering. So it's our job to make sure.